check it out. This is the Shani SNE3RT, our first ever Canon product review, our first ever Shani product review, and I have to tell you, I'm thoroughly impressed with Shani. I know what you're thinking. What's this guy doing with a Canon product? I got a chance to review the new uh, offering from Shani. It's a new Chinese manufacturer from Shenzhen, Guangdong, China, which is right beside uh, Hong Kong. Don't ask me whether it's north, south, east, or west. I have no idea. And so I thought I'd do something different. And uh, so here it is. And very pleasantly surprised at the packaging on the unit. I wasn't uh, expecting quite a, I don't know, designer type uh, box but it's really nice really well packed um, inside the unit or inside the box um, you've got a nice little carry case here there's there's no belt loop on it um, I think you probably just mount this on your camera and away you go but at least when you're putting it away you've got a decent little case that you can put it back into the pouch with and inside the case from brand new comes in a little silicone sleeve like so you also have warranty card to validate your registration and in the battery compartment little silica gel pack so we put that all back in there and because this isn't a box opening I can drag these instructions over from the side here um, you get a decent set of instructions comes in English and Chinese covers all the functionality uh, you would care to read on it okay so we'll throw that out of the way so, being a Nikon shooter, I guess I can say I'm going to be objective on this review for sure. <laughs> Hopefully I'm objective on all my reviews. Um, my first impressions on this unit are, wow, if this is any indication of what Shani products are all about, I think um, Shani's going to make a real contribution to the photography community. So, this is the equivalent of the Canon ST E3 RT, which is $269. And the Shani is the uh, SN E3 RT, which is $110 um, from the photogadget.com. And I'm sure you can buy it from another uh, number of other Chinese resellers, but uh, we typically get all our stuff from the photogadget now, uh, just because of the great service. But um, the build quality on this thing, this is not some cheap piece of crap. It feels, you know, I'm quite impressed. It has the typical uh, Canon hot shoe lock on, lock off. Uh, takes two AA batteries. Uh, battery compartment's fairly straightforward. There's no weather seal on the inside, but um, it looks to me like they've done a pretty decent job. Now, on the right side, they've given us a little USB uh, mini B port here for firmware updates. And I think on the other side, you've got. Uh, sync port or a triggering a camera triggering port on this side here uh, which is handy you know it all comes apart now on the bottom um, what you've got here is your AF assist uh, light uh, transmitter here and your um, optical sensor so this is um, a 2.4 gigahertz radio trigger uh, system but it also does optical which is kind of a handy feature now it doesn't do both at the same time does one or the other but uh, for Canon shooters um, the ST unit is the first time I guess Canon's the first OEM manufacturer that's actually built a 2.4 gigahertz radio system into you know their own product and the aftermarket people uh, like Photox have been doing it for some some time now with their new uh, speed lights but so anyways this is an alternative to the ST E3 RT this is the SN and um, wow you know I'm, I'm quite impressed the only thing playing with the unit over the last couple of days that I haven't really been too uh, thrilled about is the feel of the dial here, the main command dial. I think the detents, uh, it needs a little bit of work. But for a first uh, product coming from Shani, uh, holy cow, <laughs> I think they've done a fantastic job. So uh, let's cut right to it and we'll give you a close up look at uh, the display because I think that's probably uh, what you're most interested in. So let's have a look. Okay, so let's turn this unit on and we'll have a quick up close look at it. And I think there's your Shani logo. Uh, once we power it on, 
you can see you just got to hit the mode button here and you can very easily toggle through the different modes. I really like the color of the um, or I like the ability of this unit to be able to adjust the colors uh, for the background and for the text that's a handy feature. Uh, down the bottom right here you've got your exposure compensation indicator button. Uh, just to the left of the command dial, uh, this guy over here is your charge indicator test button, uh, your trigger mode button here, um, and then let's power this on. You can see your main menus along the bottom there, your custom function button, your compensation button, flash compensation, and then the menu mode button here. So we can cycle through uh, different menus to make different choices. Um, so let's say we want to do some kind of compensation here so main exposure compensation so when the text is read if you turn the command dial you can see you've got some adjustment capability there and then hit the button again it goes back to green your adjustments locked in flash exposure compensation same deal there turn the command dial you've got some adjustments press it again and it's locked in that's pretty straightforward okay um, let's take a look at the custom functions available. Wow. So by hitting the select button we can toggle down through all the different, so if I want to turn the sound on, uh, I guess I would do it like so. Now the sound is on, go back and you can hear the beep and you can toggle through the rest of the modes. Um, see if we can play with the color here do something outrageous like yellow oh my god that's hideous okay uh, so let's bring up our sub menu again select black again so that's a pretty cool feature in itself to be able to change that probably help you in different lighting situations for sure and now if I just go back to the home button here it takes me right back to ETTL um, I want to go back through manual mode if you want to do compensation here uh, or ratios and then it's simply a matter of picking the one that you want to work on or you want to adjust and again you toggle hit the group button and it's locked in and you're on to the next one so pretty good so far now another function that I thought was kind of interesting when I was reading up on the instructions on this unit was that if we go to uh, group mode here and we can toggle through the different groups and one of the things I read up on is that one of the differences between the Shani unit and Canon unit is that on the Shani unit you can see all five groups at the same time so let's just toggle through here and see I think it's the sync button here oh no that's for your high-speed sync you can see the indicator coming up on the screen there uh, goofed on that one uh, menu for style there you go and you know now you can see if you've got five groups set up here uh, you can see five on the screen at the same time which I think is you probably find really handy if you're doing a lot of uh, different group speed light work that kind of strobus photography uh, so go back to the main menu here and yeah that's that's cool this thing works fairly well I have to say uh, I'm not all that enamored with this main command dial here. I think the uh, feel of the dial could be a little better, but um, you know, for the price of this unit and the quality of the high resolution display, um, I don't think anybody's going to be complaining too much. All right, so I hope that does it for you. I hope that helps you, uh, gives you a bit of a close up look at, at some of the display functions. The, the uh, resolution on the screen, you know, I can't say it enough, is it's real high quality, high res for, you know, this small of a screen. I'm quite happy with it. Um, overall, I think that, you know, if you were looking for a radio trigger device for your Canon camera, and you can check compatibility on the Shani site or on the photogadget.com site uh, to make sure that this unit will work with your camera or your speed light. Uh, Shani also has a new speed light out um, that will work with this unit and uh, I've had a quick look at it and it looks like a real quality product as well so you know for 110 bucks to get yourself a radio trigger for your new Canon camera um, I think this would be a great choice save you a heck of a lot of money so that's it for this one don't forget to subscribe and like us and uh, we'll be back in a not too distant future and uh, take it easy